this video, we will cover the features of the Breakdown tab. The Breakdown tab is the main tab that analyzes energy in kilowatt hours or currency costs. If we go back to the food processing unit from the menu tree on the left, we can control what we see on the main graph with the control panel on the right hand side. If we click on refrigeration, all the appliances within the refrigeration department are visualized on the pie chart. This helps you learn where most of the energy consumption is going and find out which machines or equipment to focus on. You can choose to view these graphs in pie chart, spline, or in columns. The y-axis may change from consumption in kilowatt hours to cost in the local currency. The graph may show a particular year, month, week, or day. If the month view is selected, another useful tool is to correlate with the outside temperature. The system automatically takes the weather forecast after inputting the physical address of the site. For some appliances, such as the air handling units, it may be very helpful to use the weather data since the weather will most likely have an impact on its energy use. You can compare different appliances by selecting multiple ones that show up in different colors and easily deselect or reselect them. Another useful tool is to normalize the consumption by energy performance indicators such as production or kilograms of food processed. If production or sales are increased, then adjusting the data in terms of consumption per tons of food processed will make sense of the associated increase in energy consumption. From the Attributes tab, you can input the information of production, customer sales, or another performance indicator. You can download these graphs in various formats, such as PNG or PDF. Thank you for watching. Continue on to our next video to learn how to import this information in the Attributes tab or skip ahead to view our other tutorials. If you have further questions, contact us at info at